Hello everyone, it's Yosa uh, and guys, I'm here today with you with a tutorial how to get Rocket League Side Swipe on your PC using Nox Emulator. So, guys, before starting the video, I wanna guys tell you that my recent video for the Rocket League Side Swipe, how to get it for early, blew up to 2.7k views, which is the most viewed video on my channel. Thank you guys so much for your support, it means a lot. And uh, addition to that, it got 30 likes, which is absolutely insane. And most comments are really complimenting me and showing that the uh, tutorial was perfect and uh, it got you to play the game early. So anyways guys, today our tutorial is how to get Rocket League Sideswipe on your PC using the Nox Emulator. So first of all, you need to open any browser you have and type Nox Emulator. And this is their website, Nox Player. So the Nox Player uh, is the perfect Android emulator to play mobile games on your PC. So anyways, uh, we just go and click the download button, but I'm not gonna do that because I already downloaded it. So anyways, when you download it guys, it's gonna be stored in your file explorer and you just go to your downloads and you will see it right there. I'll click with you guys. And you'll get the user control, press yes. And then initializing, please wait a few wait a few seconds and it should appear. Yeah, there we go. So it will be different for you guys if you're gonna install the first time. So this one is gonna write overwrite install. Just accept and check everything that is recommended and you hit install. And it's gonna take probably 30 seconds depending on the internet speed. So don't you worry about that right now. So anyways, after that, downloading and installing, you will get the two Nox uh, uh, applications. This is the Nox, you wanna keep it guys, don't do anything with it. Our great focus is in the multi-drive. You wanna click it and it's, uh, it is the manager for the emulators. So by default, it's gonna install you for you the Nox player, the Android 7 bit. So don't you, uh, just ignore it, it's gonna be installed already for you. Just completely ignore it, which is this one. So this is the uh, Android 7 bit. And this one will not appear. So for the Rocket League size wipe, to, in order for it to work on your PC, it needs the Android 9 version. So how to do that is pretty simple. You just click add emulator and it's gonna pop off this screen select an android version you're gonna select the beta android 9 the 64 bits so i think depending on your pc just go to your settings and search about the system and it will show it will show you which bit your system is operating so after you do that it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be installing right here for you and when you finish downloading you just need to go and create a shortcut for it so you press this three dots which is more and then create a shortcut and after you do that it's gonna be right there for you and you just need to rename it whatever you want for me I renamed it as Nox emulator ver new version 9 so I just renamed it so I'm, I don't get lost next time so now you just keep them the Nox and multi drive on the side leave them by your side every time and now when you, when you click or double click on the Nox emulator, when you open it, it's gonna show you you need the VT, uh, VT enabled, which is the virtualization technology, which is in order to run the best performance on the Android uh, apps. So in order to do that, you just go to uh, enable VT on Nox, search it in Google, and should take you to this website. I will guys put the link in the description. This one how to enable VT and the Nox emulator. Don't you worry about that. But how to enable VT is a little bit hard or easy. Uh, so first of all, you need to, uh, as you can see, it will just show you right here on the Nox uh, to see the CPU VT enabled. So if it's disabled for you, you need to follow. And there is a video as well explained in them it's very easy i watched it how did i download it it's pretty easy uh, 
So how to enable it is entering the BIOS when booting your system. So when you turn off and turn on the system or when restoring, which case it happens to you. So for me, I <laughs> turned off and turned on my device and you need to click F2 or delete while booting the computer depending on the brand of your CPU and then you can enter your BIOS and then go to your advanced settings as shown here and go to your CPU configuration and it's gonna take you this menu right here it's gonna show everything and make sure to have the Intel virtualization technology enabled it's if it's disabled you can enable it and then that's all nothing to touch nothing to do so to save you just press F10 and to save and exit and reboot your computer uh, and it's gonna reboot your computer and for the effect to take change so and then that's all you enabled VT you can now open your after rebooting or you're starting your system you're gonna see it right there and if you double click it it's gonna open for you do the install and everything it, it will load up successfully for you so as you can see it's a black screen for me uh, so it's like your uh, Android mobile tablet when your when your PC. So, anyways, as you can see, I have a side swipe installed, but I'll show you how to get it. Uh, easy, just go to the tools. And when you go there, you just scroll. You know, like hold your left click mouse just to scroll and go to Play Store. And make sure to sign in. It's gonna pop off for you or pop off window to for you to sign in to your Google account. Make sure to sign in to your Google account. Don't you worry about that. And make sure to search or all sites swipe. And it should appear for you. If it didn't appear, you need to use VPN. Uh, probably I will provide another tutorial for that. But uh, it's uh, really easy to use a VPN. Just activate and put to New Zealand or Australia or Oceania. So back to <laughs> Rocklex Site Swipe. You just install it if it appears for you and you're good to go. So now what happens, just go here, the home button, and you're set it up. We don't know the rocket like side swipe. But first of all, before running your game, you need to set up some uh, performance settings for your emulator. Go to system settings, and the performance, you gotta set to the high for the best frames, and, and of course, no lags or uh, screen tearing as much. So, if you have a good gaming PC, so set it on high. The graphics rendering mode, enhanced compatibility mode, it's selected by default. I didn't touch anything. And for the resolution setting, on my monitor, I'm using 1920 by 1080. So, I will definitely select that for the best resolution. And now, moving to gaming, the second tab, enable the 60 FPS. I like you can just enable the high FPS mode it's just gonna be laggy sometimes so I don't prefer that it's just like dropping frames in a few seconds or something in a few minutes so I highly recommend you guys to just max it up to 60 and that's all and make sure guys to confirm or save settings here save settings and that's all you're ready to go and that's it how to get a release side swipe for free on your Android on your PC using the Android and later which is Nox and yeah that's all guys thank you guys so much for watching that's the tutorial basic uh, doesn't take a lot of your time so if you guys enjoyed the tutorial make sure to hit the thumbs up guys and subscribe if you like my channel and uh, if you'd like to support me subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial peace out